Margaritaville Trading Post. Oh, sorry. That'll be fun. Good morning from the Disney Fantasy, day four, where we're going to Rum Point Beach on Grand Cayman Island. And now we're about to dock at Grand Cayman, um, where we're going to have to take a tender to the island, but we're going to go get some breakfast real quick at Cabana's. Yes. All right, see you there. What are we having today for breakfast? Yeah. As usual, the Brandon breakfast consists of four bagels. Jen's consists of scrambled eggs, a toast, and some fruit. So here we are at Grand Cayman, next to the Carnival Miracle over there. Grand Cayman's one of those weird islands where the docking procedure is very different than your traditional uh, docking. What you have to do is you actually use these little tender boats down here where they pick up the guests down on the tender lobby, which is down on level one, and they take you all the way back to the pier out there, and they go constantly back and forth, back and forth between the cruise ships, and you can actually see that they're doing it with the carnival right now, and that's how you get to and from the island, and the reason being is that they do not have a dock large enough to support cruise ships. But now, we have to go to all the way down to deck four, in the aft of the ship to go meet up for our port excursion today where we're going to Rum Point Beach on Grand Cayman Island. So they're providing you towels before you head to the beach. Oh yeah, they are warm. Right out of the dryer. So we're checking in in the tube for our port adventure. So since they have so many different excursions, um, provided by the Disney Cruise Line. What they do to distinguish which excursion you're going on is they give you a character and we are on Team Pocahontas today. Yesterday we were on Team Rapunzel. Princess. Sorry, excursion. Princess Princess Rapunzel. No, I was saying it's Princess Cruise, like all princess stickers. There's Chip and Dale up there. Yeah, but we had it. So now... Team Pocahontas. <laughs> so now we're on deck one in the aft of the ship, heading out to the gangway to where we will board our tender. So every time you leave the ship, you need to wave your Key to the World card, which basically tells you the person if you're on and off the ship. It's great. Check and see if you come back on time. Tender boat we go, don't look down. <laughs> hey Jen. What? I could touch the fantasy. Aww. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And now we're getting on the tender boat. We're actually already on it. But they have you walk across that little gangway there. And we're gonna take this little uh, tender boat all the way back to Grand Cayman Island. And you can actually see that they're doing it again on the forward side. It's a process, it's a lengthy process because everyone who wants to get off has to take the boat no matter what. But it's because they've got a reef surrounding the island and uh, it's more for the protection of the reef. I think it's interesting how they actually have a rug draped over the side so that the the hook that's holding the tender boat in place doesn't scratch or damage the side of the boat as we kind of jostle around. And now we're being free, free from the fantasy.
now we are on Grand Cayman Island now after our tender boat and we're waiting in the Pocahontas line where they're kind of coordinating all the different excursions here and then we'll go off in our separate directions but you can see that they got Flounder and Stitch over here you see Aladdin and Ariel over there Pocahontas so based on your port adventure will determine where you end up going and something else that I noticed is that over here is where the locals are trying to sell you know ticket packages to things but Disney gets the priority spot the moment they come off the tender right here so that the Disney guests don't even go anywhere near those people so we ended up getting our tickets to Rum Point Beach I guess this is for lunch. Choose any one item from the menu. Complimentary iced tea and water. And 10% off all items at the treasure chest gift shop. All right. So Jen, what did you do the last time you were on Grand Cayman? Um, we did Grand Cayman Island. We did um, the turtle farm where we saw all the turtles. And then we went to Hell. It's a rock formation that, I mean, it could be. I mean, it <laughs> And then we saw the richest person on the island's house, and I think that was about it. And then we like just walked around. That's cool. Yeah. Sounds fun. It was. Today fun. we're going to a beach, though. Yes, relaxing. Turtles, cha, dude. water sports release agreement and I'm not too sure why unless we're riding one of those boats but I don't remember seeing that in the description of this excursion should be interesting well we are getting on board that's like a big old pontoon sailboat yeah <laughs> I did not know we were gonna be going on this <laughs> I'm not sure what we booked but we're riding on a catamaran right now we signed up for a beach adventure, but this doesn't feel like a beach. Alright, we are still on the catamaran to mystery destination because we don't know what we booked apparently. We didn't know we were going to be on a catamaran that would be rocking side to side. We have no idea what the heck, and there's some big waves out here today. So way off in the distance there is the fantasy. And we just keep going and going and going away. That might be a stingray out there. Oh yeah, there's, oh, there's a stingray right over there. And here we are at Rum Point. Kind of get it in perspective on where exactly we are out here. I don't even know if you can see it, but right out there is where the Disney Fantasy is. Way out there. We apparently have a designated area off to the side here just for Disney Cruise Line. So that's nice. I guess this is open to the general public or the carnival cruise that's here as well. Um, snorkeling, kayaks, jet skis, that sort. It kind of seems like Castaway Key-ish. Like the way they do things. Yeah. But they got like stingrays and snorkeling and stuff. So we'll see our catamaran leaves back to port about 2.53 o'clock, so we got about two hours to kind of chill and relax, so that's what we're going to do. So we decided to get, oh my towel fell, we decided to get these lounge chairs directly under the shade, 
And I guess they're gonna serve us food complimentary over here. I don't know what they're serving though. I'm curious. So for our buffet that they provided us, we got fried plantains right here. And then Jamaican rice with beans. And then salad, mac and cheese, and a brownie. And then you got fish. The fish and the jerk chicken slaw. Ah. And the salad dressing is like mango. Which is, like is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have gotten some. I'm not sure if the food was really that good or we were just really hungry after the long catamaran ride. I was really hungry. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a mango mustard. All right, so I found a good map here of where we're at. So this is Georgetown right here. This is where the Disney Fantasy and the Carnival cruise ship we saw are docked right now, just offshore, where we took the, the small boat over here. We went all the way this way and then across the water, all the way, because this is all a body of water right here, all the way to here, which is where we're at now. We're gonna have to take the catamaran all the way back and then get back on the boat to get back to the ship. So there's the dock that the catamaran dropped us off on. We come this way, a really fun sign right here. It tells you which direction every major nation is located. Which direction? They got some weird iguana looking thing. It's called the Blue Dragon. It's got some weird painting on it. We're so far away yeah. from Georgetown that I don't even see where the fantasy's at off in the horizon. Uh, Encouraging. It's a clever way to keep your menu fastened down with a big old coconut. Kind of give you a point of reference. The dock that we came in at is right over here. The area that Disney reserved is over here. And then they've got a little bar straight ahead, uh, food, little cafe, another food diner. And then over here, you've got a gift shop but it's definitely got a feel of like a Margaritaville resort. So we've seen these signs kind of plastered around the area that says, lifting a starfish out of water causes severe damage to their tissues. Take a selfie with a starfish while holding it under the water. Apparently there are cats that live on Rum Point and this is their little home. How adorable. I bet you miss Tom now. All right, we're gonna check out the Rum Point gift store called the Treasure Chest. Maybe there'll be something cool. Maybe. Spirit jersey. How much? So if it's 46, the CI means Cayman Island money. So if it's $46, it's about $55 American. That's pretty. And it's 25 Cayman Island dollars, which comes out to be about $30 American. You like that? It's thin. Yeah. It's pretty colors. What'd you get, Jen? I got a spirit jersey, Cayman Island. Aww. In the back. Oh, that's cool. British West Indies. Yeah. I like it. How much did you pay for it? 28 US dollars and I got 10% off because they gave us a coupon book. Yeah? So I got 10% off my purchase today. Very good. And Cayman Island so far is my favorite. Aww. Because um, I've been here before so I've seen other parts of the island and I would definitely come like just for like a whole week. <laughs> oh, I think that's a hint for me. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> So here are some of the moments in time where this particular beach has made history. It appears on the map for the first time in 1773. Hurricane Gustav was really close in 2008. And it says Hurricane Ivan was here back in 2004. Hurricane Michelle in 2001. And Hurricane Mitch in 1998 was almost here can't get over how shallow these waters are. There's some fish. There wasn't any on my side. Oh uh, yeah, there's some fish. So Jen, here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. We get back on the catamaran, which is right out there right now, waiting for us. In about 10 minutes we hop on the catamaran. It'll take us back to Georgetown, which is 
way off in the horizon over there. And then before we go back on the fantasy, I say we take a quick look around Georgetown and the shops. Yep. I think we'll have enough time because if we leave here at three, like then doing. like we're supposed to, it's about an hour trip using the catamaran and the bus. Put us back at four and the last tender leaves for the boat at 5.30, but they're constantly running tenders to the ship. So I think we'll have enough time to quickly look around. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be the last one on the boat. I don't want to be that person. Oh, but it would be so much fun. I don't want to get yelled at. We can do it first person on the GoPro so everyone knows what it feels like. No. <laughs> so I believe that this is this is run point right here, but I believe it's part of a resort. And they own all the way up to about here, and everything beyond that is a different resort. But they own the most northern tip of this edge of the Grand Cayman. Alright, we're about to hop back on our catamaran back to Georgetown. And back to the Disney Fantasy. Alright, well, we're back on the catamaran. This time we're in the shade. We learned our lesson on the last one. And uh, we're right at the exit here. So our hope is that when we dock, we can get back quicker on the bus. And, yeah, we're trying to get some shots in before we have to go on the last tender boat back to the ship. Not the last one. Maybe. So it looks like they're putting up the sail to help us get even more speed to come back. Try and make up for lost time. Let's see how this works. So now they turned on the other sail. So I guess we're on wind power right now. That's what it seems like. I don't hear the propeller going. We're moving. Yeah. We're definitely moving. We are entirely on wind power. No propeller. We're going right out there. That's where the ship is. Finder now. <laughs> See the fantasy? <laughs> Way out there. Yeah. All the little chickens. All the chickens running away. And now we're headed back to Georgetown. Maybe in time for shop for the last tender. The last tender. I'm gonna push it to the end. We're gonna be pure runners. <laughs> no. So we are at. Oh, there is a rooster. The Margaritaville at Grand Cayman Islands. Because we're looking for Jen's Alex and Ani store, which is supposed to be right next to it. So we're gonna check it out. We got literally exactly one hour before the last tender boat leaves yeah. so we're on a mission let's do it all right we're in the margaritaville area churchill cigars margaritaville trading post oh sorry that'll be fun look at that cool thing oh, that's hello sir all right jen what did you get um, Alex. Alex and Ani? Yeah, it's really cute. It's a little turtle. Aww. It says Grand Cayman. We'll take a closer look at it back at the ship. Yeah. In the meantime, let's go through these stores and see what they've got down here in the Margaritaville Plaza. Oh, there's a chicken. Jurassic Shark. Cayman Islands. An octopus playing a guitar. That's kind of fun. This is kind of neat. I, I like kind of like one. that. Kind of like that one. All right, you ready to go back to the ship? Yeah. I'm ready to. I'm thirsty. I got what I wanted. So we're gonna go back, get something to drink, and then you shower up for tonight. Yeah. Definitely. Looks like all the stores are closing. There's the chicken. Run, chicken, run. Run, chicken, run. I'm looking at you. 
So we say goodbye to the Margaritaville, which we didn't eat at. We just used it to shop at. And now we're headed back to the port with 45 minutes to spare before the last tender. I would say that was a successful day. I think so. All right, we're going on the Carib Temptress to take us to the fantasy. So we're back on the ship. I am now sunburnt. We're about to change, shower up, shower the day off, and then uh, probably walk around the ship and do something. We have nothing planned tonight. It is completely open. We don't know if we're even gonna see the show tonight, um, but we're definitely gonna go to dinner because tonight's out Animator's Palette for the second time. Um, different menu, where are Different you menu, yep, different menu at Animator's Palette, but uh, we'll see what happens. We're just gonna wing it and go from there. We got another magnet. It's a star. How adorable. Now we're on deck 11, headed for the main family area to get our free drinks. The beverages, soda fountain beverages are complimentary. So we're gonna get some lemonade. Hydrate from the long day in the sun. Appreciate it, thank you. Got myself some chocolate ice cream. We're, and we're gonna, yeah, before dinner. And we're gonna go hang out in these nice comfy chairs in the adult section. I like these comfy chairs. They are, they're very big, spread out. Just like that. That's not creepy at all. Ooh. So now we are about to go to dinner, but before we go to dinner, we are gonna go see Goofy. He's down on deck three. And then once we see Goof, then we'll go to dinner at Animator's Palette. Time to meet Goofy. Come on over, friends. <laughs> hey, Goofy, how's it going? <laughs> Avengers. Avengers, I yes. know, right? Yeah, I'm getting so many compliments on this. <laughs> Spider Man? Yeah. Oh, oh Doctor Strange! You like, like Doctor Strange? Yeah, he's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> See you later. <laughs> we are in Animator's Palette for the second time this trip. And drawings. All right, so we're gonna draw. What are we drawing here? I'm drawing Thor. He might be obese, but that's okay. I mean, I know the artwork in my life. <laughs> Ever. Every time I ask you to color. <laughs> uh, should I do lightning bolts? He's gonna have the big old bug eyes. And then, and then, Oh. Yay! Now I need the shoes. So they brought us some bread and sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> that looks like Hulk. Uh. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh there's mine. <laughs> On the far right. Oh, that's yours. Yep. I didn't imagine seeing Thor ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one on the right. <laughs> He's like carrying ice blocks or something. There's my Avenger guy on the right. <laughs> He's very sneaky. Yeah, he is. <laughs> that Hulk. <laughs> that Hulk is great. That's more like it. That's more like it. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, that was some animation magic, huh, folks? And I couldn't have done it without friends like you. Thanks, everybody. See y'all real soon. <laughs> After the show, little puppies lit up on the ground. My 101 Dalmatians! Oh my gosh! That is so fun! Dalmatians! was just getting started. Don't even... And look, I'm recording this for YouTube. For you of my impending death. It was just captured. Did you at least put a Snapchat filter on it first? For the love of dogs. Wait, sit down. We need to talk about what happened. I can't even... What's our animal tonight? Aww. What is it? I don't know. Is it a bear? Oh, what is it's a it? little Eskimo. Is it an Eskimo? Because it's so cold in here? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? It's a little Eskimo. It does look like an Eskimo. <laughs> He's cute, whatever he is. <laughs> I love him. Well, that wraps up day, what is it, four now? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's day four. So tomorrow's day five. Uh, we're going to be in Falmouth, Jamaica. Uh, my voice is raspy because we just got done with the with, tube. Yeah, an hour and a half. 80s in the, music trivia. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, not nice. just. It was 80s challenge. Challenge. 80s music challenge. So it wasn't trivia, it was the challenge where one team one ups the other one. I tell you what, I don't have a lot of videos because it's very dark down there and I GoPros don't do well in the dark, but Jen got a few videos on her phone. Um, it's a blast. Yeah, you might be thinking, oh, 80s, like, I don't want to do that. No. You have yeah. to go. That's probably like the funniest night. I like snorted up Sprite in my nose <laughs> because I drank it at the wrong time. And Chris like, is awesome. Chris is the host. Um, we're at this point we've seen enough of his shows now to where we'll just follow him wherever he goes. Yep. But any any shows in the tube at night past like ten o'clock definitely highly recommended if you're over eighteen. Um, at like, I my voice is gone. Like it yeah. was that. It was that great. Um, but dinner was good. Um, Animator's palate second go around. Much way better. better than uh, Crush. Um, you, you get know. to draw, and then you're yeah. I got a few up. videos of that, so um, very cool. Uh, get to draw. They come to life. The food, eh, the food was okay. Yeah, I wasn't um, too fond on the food this go around. It was okay. Not anything was like yes. Yeah, but the atmosphere was really cool. Um, tomorrow's Pirate Night. Tomorrow's Falmouth, Jamaica. Um, but yeah, it'll be a fun night. Uh, I'm beat. I know we're... I'm tired. Jen's beat. We're both beat. <laughs> um, and sunburn. Uh, so we're going to go to bed now. Bye.